uh, study. Hello, my name is Jonathan Sumpton, and today is Tuesday, the 3rd of October 2023. And last night I got a great, lovely surprise, and there was a knock at my door, and it was a surprise visit from my friend Atla. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who I um, always refer to as the fox. Yeah. There we are. So we've been having lots of fun, lots of chats, putting the world right, and we decided to make this film. Uh, fun? Uh, what is the film really about? The, the film is really about me because um, I've been convicted as a terrorist and I'm going to be going to jail in Norway, Vic Prison, on the 19th of October. And you're a now victim? I'm a now victim, yes. You're a now victim? Yep. And that's why you're going to the prison, really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, okay. I believe that you and the Norwegian police and the Norwegian state is a threat to my life and has been. Norway has I'm been. Sorry that you think that way. Norway, sorry. listen, Norway has been failing in its positive obligation not to cause me irreparable harm for 23 years. That's it. Okay.
en... Uh... Nu ser en... Ja, det står här att uh, uh, du är tillknytt till det brittiska trygdesystem och det inte är behov för vidare avklaring med brittiska myndigheter. Var det bara du, du, du är medlem i trygden i Great Britain. Då har vi har uh, sitt medlemskap. 2013. Ja. Yeah. Uh, six years ago. Ja. Yeah. Hmm. But this is this is old. I don't think this yeah, has... Can I have a translation? I don't understand it. No. They, they, they say here... Um, På grund av jag betalar inte en norsk trygdesystem sedan yeah. 96. But it has not 97. been registered any period of membership in Norway. That's what they say in yeah. 2013. Yeah. Um, Unless they say something has has you had an income in Norway and and uh, has what they call pensionspoeng. That what when we pay tax. Yeah. Yeah. When we have an income. Yeah. Skat yeah. skatetat. Yeah. 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 Jag är skatteförpliktig till yeah. Norge, men jag kan vara inte registrerad yeah, som bosatt i Norge. Paying, um, uh, the years you had an income. But they say that you are a British citizen yeah, and British. you have a membership there. Så so, det är det ingenting på det brev um, för att säga jag är medlem av norsk trygdesystem. Vad är skrivet här? Vi ask you därför att informera någonting om hans medlemskap i trygden. Ja. Ja. Då har vi hört att det är vi måste ha någon när han är orienterad om sitt medlemskap. They say you should you should have been informed that you have membership. Ja. Yeah. And tillbaka medling kan sändas direkt till Mona i rena fossi regelverkskontoret. I don't know who who should have informed you about this. I know nothing about that. Well, hang on. Does that yet flow? Well, that that comes to enough. Yeah, I can see that. Yelsta. It comes to know Yelsta M many years ago. And I don't know if anyone tried to to, to reach you. So on a highland? I don't know. I don't know if this was his... Uh, his... Um, if he was responsible. I don't know. Who should have contacted you? I don't know. I cannot find.
Nav Scandalen, the Norwegian social security scandal, is the tip of the iceberg. Here's the rest of the iceberg. Does Norway really not know that non-Norwegians lack permission to remain in Norway? We know that part of the 2014 NAV report that is still secret concerns membership of the Norwegian National Insurance Scheme and that the current Norwegian government, when they were in opposition, said they would publish the report. Then, once they got into power, said the report would remain secret. And we know that, despite the Norwegian National Insurance Act or Folketrygd Lorven stating, it is a condition that the person in question has a residence permit in Norway. That's if they want to be a member of Folketrygden. Norway has not only been declaring resident in Norway for tax purposes, non-Norwegians lacking permission to remain in Norway, but applications for permission to remain in Norway from non-Norwegians paying Trygdeav gift, those are contributions to the Norwegian National Insurance Scheme, have been suspended. So, since 1994, when the EEA agreement came into force, how many non-Norwegians have been declared tax liable to Norway, forced to contribute to Norway's national insurance scheme, but have been denied the permission to remain in Norway, needed to be members of the Norwegian national insurance scheme? After Navskandlen, Norway is less attractive to EEA nationals. Thank you for watching. I'll leave you with this. Having ripped off migrant workers from the EEA for 30 years, how does Norway get them to return? How does Norway grow its economy without them? Migrant workers do have other options. <laughs>